Everyone in Australia should remember it. It was right on our coast. They reckon they saved Australia, and I really think that they probably did. And nobody seems to care much about it. The Battle of the Coral Sea is of great historical significance to Australia, but it's a battle that is very rarely remembered. A lot of people don't even know where the Coral Sea is. It's important that they know how close the war came to our shores. What the Japanese were trying to do was to control the waters around Australia and prevent Australia being supplied from America. The Allied forces had much better signals intelligence and they were able to intercept Japanese communications and predict that they were going to attack Port Moresby and that allowed them to pre-position their forces into the Coral Sea to intercept the Japanese invasion fleet. The Americans were able to deploy two aircraft carrier groups based on the Lexington and the Yorktown. A carrier group might consist of uh, half a dozen or so smaller ships, both cruisers and destroyers, and could be spread out across an area of perhaps 20 miles. The two Australian vessels, Australia and Hobart, were combined with the American carrier groups to provide added protection. The first major action of the Battle of the Coral Sea was the sinking of the Japanese aircraft carrier Shoho by American aircraft. During the battle, the American commander sent the Australian-American cruiser group to block the Japanese invasion fleet from coming to attack Port Moresby. And all of a sudden, the siren sounds. Every man to his position. The Australian-American support group were attacked by a great number of Japanese aircraft. Everybody was firing guns and so forth. All you can do was hear the bangs on both sides. They didn't really have time to be scared. They didn't have time to think about it because they were too busy uh, sort of protecting themselves. It was a vicious and quick kind of a battle. The only time I think I was a bit frightened was after we were torpedoed and we didn't know whether we were going to sink or what was going to happen. And the ships bouncing from side to side with near misses <laughs> and the things are going bang, bang, and you think, well, I'll be a thousand pieces here in a minute. But through skillful ship handling, they were able to defend themselves and none of the ships were lost. We were lucky. We never copped one. At dawn on the last day of this six-day battle, the American and Japanese carrier fleets were desperately trying to find each other to put in a killing blow. When the Japanese found the American fleet, their aircraft attacked both of the American aircraft carriers, Lexington and Yorktown. And the Lexington was blown into two halves. They lost a lot of men there. The general thought was how lucky we were not to be sunk. Somebody else was sunk, we weren't, so we were lucky. The Australians didn't lose anybody, fortunately. The Americans, however, lost over 500 men killed, more than 60 aircraft, and of course, the carrier USS Lexington. I felt awful that they'd lost so many on our coast. And I also felt they were great fighters at the time they were needed over there. And this country must never forget them. The Battle of the Coral Sea it was the first time in World War II that the Japanese experienced failure in a major operation. The damage caused to the major Japanese carriers, Shokaku and Zoikaku, meant they couldn't take part in the later Battle of Midway. And of course, the Battle of Midway was a real turning point in the Pacific War in that it meant the Japanese lost the initiative. Something like the Coral Sea ought to be sort of remembered. Most of my friends as I speak to that there's not many left now anyhow, but they all think that it should be a memorial of some sort. I just think it should be some sort of maritime reserve of some sort that it ought to be sort of protected more than it is. The Battle of the Coral Sea is of great historical significance for Australia. 
The heritage value rests in those ships that still rest on the bottom and of course the many young lives that were lost during the battle. It deserves to be remembered by everyone because in reality it should be up there with Gallipoli and Kokoda. You know your great grandfather was in the war? He fought on the ships out there. Coming in and dropping bombs one after the other. Why? And never hit us once. Why not once? Well, they didn't aim straight, did they? Looking back, I don't think I've done anything ever any more important than the Coral Sea Battle. Makes you very proud. I get a very satisfied little feeling inside me, enough to keep me alive till I die.